Qualifying is one of the most nerve-wracking times of the day because we literally get one lap. So it's Mitch Evans, I think, who's going to be the, the first man to start a flying lap here. And he's done some great jobs in qualifying in the Jaguar in the past, Mitch Evans. Let's see if he can pull a lap out today. Heading into this weekend, we were on the back foot from a championship point of view. I was out in Group 3 in Santiago, managed to put a really good lap in. Our group quality put me fast overall. Here comes the Kiwi out of the final corner. Surely this puts him into first place. It does, by six tenths. Massive lap from Evans. Super Bowl about to get underway here in Santiago, Chile. The next to try is going to be Max Gunter. Good final second here, and Gunter could smash it. He could be some six tenths up. One corner to go, don't mess it up. Through the final corner, Max Gunter towards the line. Surely this is provisional pole position. It is by half a second. Half a second. Brilliant lap. I knew Gunter had put, put down a really strong benchmark. For us to get pole position, I had to do my perfect lap. Can Mitch Evans take pole position away from, at the moment, provisionally, Max Gunter? Carry a lot of speed into, into the turn one, but then turn two comes really fast, so it's a matter of trying to slow the car down, get a really good exit, get the car back over for the turn three, get nice and close to the wall on exit of three, and then let the car float all the way through this section. But is it quick? That's all that matters. Okay, yes, it is. Wow, wow. And nearly a 10 through there. Well, I was losing time all the way down the straight, which is actually one of the longest straights in Formula E. So I knew that was not great, and I had to be brave into turn nine here. Lovely. There's five hundreds in it. It's Gunter versus Evans for pole. What can Evans do? Into ten. I was being a little bit too brave. I locked up the front wheel a little bit too late, but I managed to recover well and I actually gained a tenth and a half. Then I just needed a clean last corner to finish off the lap. Final corner for Evans. Looking for his second pole. Or will it be Gunter's? Here comes Evans. It's pole position. Jaguar take their second career pole. When you cross the line, you, you realize that you've got pole position. It is, a, it is an incredible feeling because formally qualifying is so difficult. It's a really cool feeling to know that over this period we were the fastest cut.